I think we're okay to go ahead, David. Are we? Yeah. yeah, thank you. So I can start, can I? Yes, go for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, morning, uh, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for joining this uh, webinar uh, today. Um, before I start, I, obviously I have to mention that um, uh, Rex Morn passed away um, earlier in this week. Um, he's a gentleman that I had met on many occasions over the years um, and he was an amazing person really because he always seemed somehow to remember everybody's names which I could never work out how he did it but he did somehow um, but he was a, a real gentleman a, a real visionary and uh, a true ent entrepreneur and really I always looked at him as the father of our FLP family and it was one of the reasons why I joined because it did have a very family feel for it where everybody was helping um, each, each other. Uh, he's changed the lives of millions of people throughout the, the world and he will be sorely missed and, and my thoughts go out to his family at this difficult time but I had to mention Rex because uh, he was an exceptional person. Okay, so now we're going to start the webinar on the drinking gels and the new mango. Um, basically, for those of you who don't really know much about me, I come from a, a long farming family, in fact, uh, and I'm finding it very hot down here at the moment, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well with this uh, sudden uh, outburst of sunshine and heat. Uh, the animals are finding it difficult. But I started off, um, although my parents, grandparents were all farmers and they expected me to follow in that line, I decided I wanted to do something different. And I initially studied um, at Leeds University Physiology and Nutrition. Uh, I was then lucky enough to get into Cambridge to do uh, veterinary medicine and surgery. Uh, and then I've done certain qualifications after that, masters and um, uh, I have this diploma in uh, herbal medicine as well. Um, but basically I've been involved with um, Forever as an FBO, uh, for nearly 25 years and I've been on the advisory board for uh, uh, 24 years as well um, so I think I'm the longest standing member now. Um, huge practical experience of um, using the products for humans but also of course for animals with my background um, and I've done all sorts of research written papers on the use of aloe um, over these many many years. But what we want to look at today is the oral gels. And if we could see the first slide, please, Kate. There should be, there should be another, that's the one. Um, with any product that we take <coughs> ourselves, consume or, or animals really, we need to be able to identify where it came from. And I'm a great believer of working with nature and I try to consume food that I can recognize. So I, I'm still a bit old fashioned. We do do a lot of home cooking with vegetables and meat, etc. And so I know, you know, a carrot looks like a carrot and uh, a cabbage looks like a cabbage and a piece of beef looks like a piece of beef. Uh, we don't eat much in the way pre, pre prepared meals and all of those foods are fully traceable back to where they came from on the farms and it's the same with our products um, you'll see here the aloe vera of america which looks after our plantations for forever living uh, they have over 50 million plants uh, 30 million of those are in the dominican republic uh, six and a half thousand acres of plantations it, it's huge and that makes them the largest producers of aloe in the world Aloe needs plenty of sunshine and you'll see that our plants get at least 2000 hours a year. We produce about 85 tons of, of aloe leaves every day. Uh, and that generates over 8 million gallons of pure aloe every year. The raw material will vary slightly because of the soil type. Um, aloe plants are what they call the xerophytes. They live in desert-like conditions with very free draining soil. So you need a sandy soil. Um, the climate is important, of course, the season of the year that you actually crop the plants and the way you actually, actually do this harvesting. 
Um, what makes uh, our products unique is that we don't just go along with a huge machine like a combine harvester and chop the lot off. We go out by hand and select the mature leaves. And that's very, very important because it's the mature leaves which have the highest concentrations of the nutrients we're looking for. So ours are hand harvested and then hand pelleted. And of course, we can trace back each container of our product to the plantation in the field where that aloe vera plant was grown. Next slide, please, Kate. Um, so a little bit about the, the plant. Um, this is a little cross section of a leaf and you can see the dark green is the rind. Uh, the rind of the plant is about 15 cells thick and that is for a purpose, uh, two things. One, it has a waxy coat on the top to decrease evaporation because it's living in hot desert-like conditions. Um, but also in this rind, the nutrients are produced, but then they have to be circulated around the leaf. And this is done by things called pericyclic tubules, those little yellow areas. And they contain xylem and phloem, which is like the blood of a, of a plant. And in there, all those nutrients are circulating around to different parts of the actual leaf. Underneath this um, sap, and the fact that the sap is what contains the bitter aloes, underneath the sap, you have the mucilage layer. Um, this is where the sugars are contained. Uh, the ace manin is found in this layer and this is the layer where it is hand filleted when you'll see them hand filleting they're cutting through that mucilage layer separating off the rind with the sap and leaving the mucilage with the parenchyma cells underneath those great big cells underneath uh, the parenchyma cells and the gel fillet and they contain all the nutrients and the water of the plant and so you can see very clearly how they're actually uh, filleted. And in fact, if we see the next slide, it's a little bit um, pale, but we see the next one, Kate, we can see on the next one that it's where one has been filleted. You can just about pick out the large central area, which is the mass of gel fillet. So most of that leaf is gel fillet. And then above it, if you look at the rind, which has been separated above underneath, you'll see the shiny area, that's actually the uh, mucilage layer. And then those little black dots you can just pick out, that's the uh, pericyclic tubules where the sap is, and above that is the rind. Um, so you can very clearly see there, um, that's what we're after, that big lump of gel fillet uh, in the center. Next one, please. So what are actual nutrients in the gel? Uh, from the inside of these leaves and why is it so important? It's important because there are several hundred different nutrients inside these plants as there are in many many other plants uh, but we've identified at least 75 of these and we group them into 10 major groups and it's important because they all work together, they work synergistically so you've got a whole series of different nutrients all working together to give the overall benefit of the aloe vera gel. And that's an important point. It's the fact that you've got a whole series of different nutrients working together to give the benefit at the end of the day. Uh, the 10 major groupings, we're gonna look at those next. So Kate, if we see the next slide, um, this is only a brief um, summary of what's actually in the aloe vera gel. Um, but basically, uh, if you wanna learn, learn more, you'll need to come on to one of the more detailed trainings we do. But basically it has lignin in there, which is a woody substance It's found with the cellulose, it doesn't do a lot, but one thing it can do is carry some of the other nutrients through the epidermal layer of your skin down into the dermis. And it's very important when we're trying to maintain the health of the skin that we get things down to the dermal layers. So that's the lignin. The next one is bitter aloes. Um, that is also known as the sap. It gives the color, the taste, and it does have some uh, other little properties as, as, as well, which help the overall benefits of the uh, aloe vera gel. Saponins, uh, you'll know if you look at uh, most containers that you buy with skin products on, on from the high street or, or off of the internet, that they will contain saponins because they are nature's own soapy cleansers for your skin. Um, so that's a, a very important component, uh, which lots of other manufacturers have made use of, but it's found naturally in aloe vera. Next one, please, Kate. Um, a number of amino acids are present. Um, there are 20 altogether, but 19 are actually found in aloe. You need seven, uh, so you need eight every day. They're called the essential amino acids. Uh, and seven of those are found in aloe vera gel. 
Uh, these are the building blocks of your proteins and therefore make up your cells and all your muscles, for example. Um, plant enzymes are present. They can help um, with uh, digestion and breaking down products that you're consuming. Fatty acids are very soothing, calming and cleaning agents, particularly when applied to the skin. And of course, salicylic acid, which again has been used for hundreds of years as an exfoliator, getting rid of dead cells on your skin and cleaning off the skin. The actual gel also contains uh, 10 vitamins. Um, and of these, the main groupings are those which are fat soluble and those which are water soluble. Water soluble ones, like all of the B vitamins and vitamin C, need to be taken every day. So of course, if you drink your gel every day, you'll be getting these water soluble vitamins and they will contribute towards your daily requirement. So they're not gonna 100% make that up, but they will contribute towards it. It actually contains six of the eight B vitamins. And we know how important B vitamins six, nine and 12 are to all of us, but particularly if you're um, vegetarians or vegans. Uh, also the minerals, there's uh, nine minerals, including calcium, iron, copper, manganese, zinc, um, which are again needed on a daily basis. And so again, by drinking your gel every day, you'll be getting some of these nutrients um, to add to a well-balanced diet. Next slide, please, Kate. So overall, um, these are the sort of points that you need to remember because these are unique points um, to aloe vera. Yes, it contains several different uh, essential nutrients. In fact, it's quite a collection of them as we've just discussed. It's a wonderful cleanser for the skin because there's the saponins in it. It penetrates through the epidermis to the dermal layer because of the lignin. It is a wonderful moisturizer. Um, you can't go out there and buy a product where they haven't tried to add aloe, suggesting to you that it's gonna help moisturize your skin. It's a great debrider. That means it cleans up the skin. It gets rid of um, dead cells. Um, like around wounds and things and burns, etc. Uh, it also improves cell division. A lot of work was done on this many, many years ago, where they found if you added aloe vera to a culture of cells from the skin, uh, they replicated at um, three or four times their normal rate. And what that means overall is that actually, if you applied it to a, a wound, for example, it will heal about a third quicker. It's very soothing and calming. And, it, and in the amounts that we recommend, it has no known side effects. So it's perfectly safe to take. Um, always, if you're um, on medications or whatever, you should always refer to your own doctor um, or, or vet. But it is a very safe product to take at the levels that we suggest. Next one, please. So let's get to the itty gritty and let's actually look at the oral gels. There are four main oral products. Um, several of them come in litre containers. Some are in the minis, the 330s. And some you can buy in tri packs as well. Um, so they're, they come in all sorts of uh, sizes for us. And um, the minis are very handy because at the 330, you can carry them around with you quite easily and keep topping up um, during the day. So the important points are that with all of our products and particularly the ones I tend to talk about, even the topical ones, they contain a lot of aloe and you can't get higher than the 99.7% pH balanced filleted gel found in, in this product. It's a very, very high aloe content and is in my case, the product of choice. Uh, we recommend that for humans, they take between 60 and 120 mils. Um, I always recommend 120 mils see how you get on. You can take more if you need to, um, or you can actually take less if you find you're getting the benefits at a lower level. But most people will find they need 60 to 120 mils, and I prefer the 120. You can start off with it slowly if it's your first time, or you can go straight into it. Um, sometimes it's recommended to go in slowly. If you know you have a sensitive digestive system, then I would tend to start slower. And the same applies to, to the animals. It has no added sugar to it. Um, that gives it only two and a half calories for 120 mils, so it's absolutely tiny. It has 84% of your recommended daily intake of vitamin C. And you'll know how important vitamin C is 
for your skin, your cartilages, your bones and wound healing. So it's very, very good at having this high level of vitamin C in it. It's a recyclable carton. It has no chemical preservatives. The only things added are a little bit more ascorbic acid, which is the vitamin C and citric acid. Those two are found naturally in uh, aloe vera gel anyway. So all they're doing is adding a little bit more to balance the pH and help how long it lasts for. Uh, it's aseptically produced. Now, what does that mean? It means that it is flash heated for less than 15 seconds at below pasteurization temperature. Um, I was concerned initially if this would decrease any of the uh, nutrients in the actual product, but it doesn't. Um, studies have shown that the bioavailability of the nutrients is actually increased by this process. And I think it's partially because they now do this at the plantations. So it's done immediately, which stabilizes the gel immediately, and therefore it gives it um, a much longer shelf life. In fact, the process of, of actually treating it is done within six hours of those leaves being cut. So it's a very quick process. And that makes the actual product essentially identical to the inner leaf gel. Um, it supports the digestive system and the immune system. It has a two year shelf life and opened in these cartons. Um, different sizes of the cartons, as we said. It has the International Science Council certificate on it. It is suitable for vegetarians and vegans. It's halal and kosher certified. It's not tested on animals. Um, so it ticks all the boxes. So these are all unique points. And of course, when it's refrigerated and you've opened the container, it will keep for around 30 days. So it is a, a, a very good first product to be considering. Um, yes, it can take a little while to get used to the taste, um, but actually I don't notice it at all. No, it's one of the products I take every day. So the next one, please, uh, Kate. Berry Nectar. Um, the company has produced several uh, other gels with added um, things like the uh, apple juice and the cranberry in this one and the ones we're going to see in a moment. But basically, if you look at the product, it still contains a very high content of aloe vera, 90.7% 90, 90 of the pH balance in a leaf gel. So it's very, very high in gel. It has all the properties, therefore, of the straight gel. So all the ones we just discussed are there as well. It has the 4% apple juice, 2% cranberry, and it has 50% less sugar than the previous product. When we were in the plastic cartons, this one has 50% less sugar, which has got to be good because we're trying to, in our diets, reduce the sugar, the fat and the salt in our diets and increase the fiber. And these products do help to increase fiber as well. It's going to be a good source of vitamins A and vitamin C has 30 calories in every 120 mils and 84% of your daily vitamin C. Um, I tend to use this product where I'm trying to maintain the health of the urinary tract uh, because cranberries have been known um, for centuries to help with the urinary system. Next one, please, Kate. Aloe peaches used to be called bits and peaches because it used to contain little bits of aloe vera. It wasn't bits of peach, it was bits of aloe vera. Um, with this newer product, it still has 84.3% of the gel. So again, you're going to have the properties of aloe vera in there, uh, very high content. It has a delicious, delicious taste, um, particularly favoured by children and, uh, and also particularly favoured by me. And in fact, I don't normally keep too much of it in the house because I will just drink and drink it. Um, it is such a, a lovely um, flavour to it and very, very drinkable. It does contain 8% peach puree with white grape juice. Um, I straight stress that that's absolutely perfect for, for humans, uh, lots of antioxidant properties, but um, grapes um, don't always agree with your dog. Um, it's been well known that grapes can cause digestive problems in dogs, so we do not feed grapes to dogs and therefore you shouldn't really give this product to dogs. I'm not sure why you'd want to give this product to dogs. If you want to help dogs maintain their health, you would pick the number one product, the oral gel. Uh, with 99% aloe in it. Has 40% less sugar than the original aloe bits and peaches, uh, 35 calories in every 120 mils, and 40% of your daily requirement of vitamin C. So these are all unique points um, when you come to using the product yourself or talking to customers. Uh, the next one is the new product, which Kate, if you can put us on to the new mango, please. And here you have it. Um, again, very high 
aloe content at 86 percent it's going to have the properties of the aloe as we've discussed for the other ones as well it has an absolute delicious taste again um, perfect for the summer perfect for your breakfast it is a great product to start the day with it has um, lots of vitamin a and vitamin c in it again and, and also it has a good fiber content so it's very good for the digestive system again it contains natural mango puree 35 calories per 120 mils and as we said it has a high vitamin c content 75 percent of your daily requirement of vitamin c now with these products we've just discussed the oral products they all use the new ph balanced aseptically produced in a leaf gel the next one doesn't um, and you need to remember that it's, a, it's the original gel in the freedom. And if we see the next slide, Kate, please. So freedom still uses the original stabilized aloe vera gel. This was stabilized by using uh, additional products, um, all mainly coming from other plants like sorbitol, for example. Sorbitol is an extract, natural extract from uh, sweet corn or maize. And it's a natural sweetener. Um, there's also um, xanthan gum that comes from seaweed or kelp. Um, there's uh, potassium sorbate which comes from mountain berry. So you see they all come from natural sources. There is ascorbic acid and citric acid present as well but they're all natural and that's how we produce and still do produce the stabilized gel which makes up uh, the gel in our freedom, but also it is in, still in all of our topical products, still uses the stabilized gel. In addition to the gel, you have glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate and methyl sulfonyl methane, MSM. They are added for a specific purpose because this product um, has been used for its effect in maintaining the health of your joints, particularly your joint cartilages. It's been well proven that glucosum chondroitin and MSM are beneficial to maintaining the health of the cartilages and snow fluid in your joints. Glucosamine sulfate, that comes from the shells of crustaceans. So it's not um, a shellfish product, it's a crustacean like um, lobsters and crabs is where it comes from. And the chondroitin has to come from a another animal source. It has to come uh, mainly these days from um, the uh, cartilage in chickens is where it comes from. Um, so if you're vegetarian or vegan, um, you wouldn't really be able to take this product. Um, you could possibly take the Move, uh, particularly also if you don't want a drink, you'd rather have a capsule, you can take the Move capsules. Uh, they do contain eggshell membrane um, and turmeric and uh, Move is very, very good also with the joints because it has the glucosamine chondroitin and hyaluronic acid in it as well. Um, but I found this Freedom product exceptional. I mean, for years before the company came out with Freedom, I was taking a, a product with glucosamine chondroitin in it, but I wasn't getting very good results until I joined Forever and started drinking the gel with it because the gel seems to improve the absorption of those nutrients. And that's why he forever put such a high content of aloe vera gel into the freedom. So you get the benefits of, of, of actual aloe itself. So it's soothing and calming. Plus you're getting the glucosum and conjointing the MSM. Every cell in your body requires sulfur and MSM is very high in sulfur. So it's helping all your cells and your, also your joint cartilage cells all have been helped by the MSM. It has a very small amount of orange concentrate. I, uh, I, I can never actually taste orange flavor in it, but apparently it does have. Uh, 120 mils is the recommended amount to take every day, exactly as it is with the other gels. And that's only gonna be about 35 uh, calories. So there today we've, we've covered um, the drinking gels. We've gone through all the unique points of the aloe vera plant itself uh, and then what gets into the gel and how all those nutrients work together synergistically to maintain um, the health of the different areas of your body that it that tends to help with. Um, we've gone through as well as the um, new, new gels with the pH adjusted aseptically produced gel to the stabilized gel of the freedom. So I think um, we've covered quite a bit there. 
Um, don't get back bogged down with too many details. Just remember the unique points, the full traceability of the product is, is absolutely vital in, in, in my thoughts. And also, as I said before, this product is as nature intended. It's the gel from our own plantations, processed ourselves, and basically got pretty little added to it. Um, to get the benefits that we want on a daily basis. You do need to take them daily to see the benefits. So I think we'll stop there. Um, I think we've allowed a little time uh, just for a few questions. Um, if we don't answer them all, uh, we will email them to you later. But Kate, if there are any questions, um, you can find there which we can answer. Obviously we're very conscious of compliance these days. Um, so if Kate can find some, can you find anything there, Kate? Well, I think there must be a system error because for the first time ever, we have zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we are all done. But obviously, if anybody does have any questions, feel free to contact head office and obviously keep an eye out for all of David's other fabulous trainings. Yeah, just um, let me know and I will answer them for you. Um, don't forget, obviously, although we've spoke a lot about humans here, um, I'm, I'm also able to answer any of the uh, animal questions as well. Um, most, most of them are uh, horse or dog orientated, but we get a lot on cats as well. And even the family pets, we get a lot on you know, the rabbits and uh, hamsters, etc., gerbils and lots and lots of others. Um, so, you know, whatever you find uh, uh, you would like to ask a question about, just send them in, um, we'll answer them for you. But thank you very much for coming along today. Enjoy the sun, put on plenty of sunscreen. Uh, and keep drinking your gels. Thank you. That's perfect. Thanks, David. Yeah, thank you, Kate. Thanks for your help. See you soon. No problem. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye. Hello. Oh, you still there? Yeah.